Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good day to you. I hope you are very good and well. Today, I'm going to talk about good kind of health. Trichomes at the end and endocannabinoid system. And a Q and A. It's going to be a pretty short show because I've got my final exams today. I got uh, two of them today, three hour exams, and then another two tomorrow, three hour exams. And two of them are particularly hard, so I've got to study a fair bit. Uh, so bear with me. So sorry, but oh, that's what's going on. So save your questions till later. And I put a poll in too, if you just for fun it says it's just in the chat there it says could your medical cannabis be better and there's a yes no and then there's a few other answers under it where it says yes i might need i need more so legalize it and then yes throat pain and headaches happen meaning that they haven't um dried and cured it properly but yeah all right well hello to vinnie and sunshine and rainbows g'day you know I'm going to jump into it and start sharing so good kind of health so it's not going to be I don't envisage just to be a very big show but it's going to still be a show present all right I'm just looking to share the screen share screen oh wow there we go so you can see my stuff now so this is what I'm going to talk about today so there's not many slides so it's just a few I start with the positive the strongest people aren't always the people who win but the people who don't give up when they lose yes it's so hard to remember so hard to do but it's true you'd be passionate keep going at it oh there's some legalization stuff so Czech Republic is working on regulations for recreational cannabis in Czechoslovakia over there and put on them and Germany plans to legalize recreational cannabis. I thought it was cool outdoor thing. They're right into it. They're going to be um, they're going to be right up there with the world's leaders. The way that they're going forward, they're doing really well, upping things, making limits higher, all sorts of stuff with their regulations. It's pretty good. And yeah, believe it or not, Japan is moving to legalize medical cannabis. Legalize, yep, medical. That's amazing. Did you? What was it? Back in the geez don't quote me 60s or 70s but it was paul mccartney he went there and he got caught with some cannabis and it was one of the main reasons why japan legal um, um made it illegal it was a big push from the us to make it illegal so they're turning stuff around now so good on them bloody australia jesus wish they'd freaking they're gonna dead set they're gonna be the world's um, slowest again and we're gonna have to import it all etc etc anyway this is the many therapeutic uses of cannabis i don't call it marijuana because that's the slang terminology that's been given by this henry anstliger in their government at the turn of the 19th century of the, in the states and they try to demonize and poison it and call it that so that's why they said reefer madness you've heard of all that sort of right that's to do with marijuana so i'd call it cannabis because it's medical cannabis and that's what today's talks on is the difference between medical cannabis and street weed there's a big massive difference medical cannabis is going to get you all these massive benefits where street weed doesn't so it's only down to education and laws so once those things can happen there'll be better health for everybody there's a little of different things i'm not going to name them all because you've probably just read them but there's heaps of different things that, it, that helps the mental health is also another factor for it and you can go into your garden and you can talk to them give them co2 there's heaps of things here that's i just like this slide because i thought well, it's it's true it does it helps with mental health that's not really spoken about very much um next slide uh this is a really good one to show that cannabis sativa l or sativa l is hemp so they did a test with cbd and hemp and how it protects against oxidative injury in your kidneys and it mitigates the oxidative stress purinogenic dysfunction cholinogenic dysfunction 
glycolin genesis and glyconogenesis. It just helps with kidneys. So it's from the hexane extract, the extracts from the CBD. It's really good. This is forms that they're putting it in now. So this is the cannabis uh, THC CBD and all its constituents have been put into these tablet forms now. So I thought it was pretty spiffy. Yes. Well, this one, the one about CBGA. So CBGA is the, what is it, the family tree, of the cannabinoid family tree, it's the start of it. So then after it branches out. So this says from Mike Robinson, who's from the Global Cannabinoid Research Center. He says, keep in mind that CBGA is a precursor for both THC and CBD plants. So it can come from either one, but if gained from hemp, to keep it legal nationwide and well nationally, globally, sorry, because yeah, they've got to stick with the we got to stick with the laws. I do support the law. That's the disclaimer I should say at the start. I support all the law and the medicinal purposes for cannabis. That's what I'm about. I'm, I don't support the legal side of things. Uh, it's another good thing for the cannabinoids. How they help with the CBG. So the research has shown that these cases have the CBG and CBGA have great potentials in not only calming tremendous treacherous pain and cramps involved in ulcerative colitis, and it shows cannabinoids could potentially repair damage within the gastrointestinal tract. Same for Crohn's disease too. It's um, very, very helpful. Like Jesus. Oh, I should be saying some the chat's going on. All right, just skim over to that. G'day Huda, how you going? Sunshine, when are they going to take seriously mix 50 strains together to sell them pre-mixed? Uh, yeah, more entourage, that's right. The good benefits of it. G'day Jeff, Kripalia, and Sir Bongs a lot. How you going, Sir Bongs a lot? Uh, Aussie Grow Shows, g'day mate. I won't be joining today's show, Aussie Grow Shows, because it's, um, I got too much to do, sorry. I got a hell of a lot with my studies. G'day, CC, Mick S. How you going, Mick S? Jeff, just skimming down. Hope everyone's saying hello. PTP, how you going? All right. Another thing, that CBD, CBDA is more effective than CBD for epilepsy patients. I have epilepsy, so I was very intrigued with this. And Tel Aviv over in Israel, they're doing some really, they've been studying for years and years. That's where Dr. Um, Raphael is. The, um, the bloke who's kind of invented it, or not invented it, it's found it out. He's over that way. Uh, what's another thing? That's right. There's another thing happened there too. I did that rag course in Israel that was what a plant knows and how a plant smells and how it communicates. And that was a really cool thing from that thing there. Back to this. Uh, so the adjunctive uses of CBD rich extracts higher effective than adults. So it just says that adults with treatments resistant to epilepsy will find this effective. A Colombian investigator assessed the high efficacy of high CBD and low THCs with epilepsy patients and found to be 50% had a reduction in seizures over 12 weeks. So it just works. It's really, really cool. Good stuff. Next. Uh, list of common substances, drugs available for recreational use and their corresponding side effects. This is pretty. So we know all about alcohol, caffeine, tobacco causes that stuff. But look at cannabis. They reckon that motor vehicle crashes. Yeah, I understand the first 10 or 20 minutes after a smoke. Addiction, because, yeah, it helps us so much. So, yes, and there is a bit of withdrawals of... Um, possibly being a bit aggressive or being sick because it's very um, effective. Anxiety, well, I reckon it reduces anxiety, depression. So I think they're talking about the wrong um, varieties and the wrong cultivar given, no, the wrong yeah, variety of sativa given to a, a caffeine sensitive person. And that causes anxiety, depression and psychosis, which is me. So if I was to have that, I'll be bouncing around the room. So yeah. That's only a education thing from misguidedness. Cardiovascular health, in, induced hypertension, okay, increased mycodial oxygen demand. Uh, that's probably from smoking it the wrong ways. 
or loading up your lungs from smoking shit stuff because you know how you can feel your cough and you carry on and from you get sore throats and headaches and bad results from cannabis it should be like breathing air smooth clean air so this may be from people who smoke too many joints with the unfiltered weed um as an example testicular cancer i don't know about that one infertility infertility it doesn't well i smoke two and a half pounds a year so i smoke a good three to three and a half grams a day for the last 30 years and i've got a compound microscope and i've actually checked my fertility and they are bouncing off the bloody walls <laughs> so uh sorry about your study there's another thing what's uh, mike reckon there's a world of people with adhd and other issues that have been prescribed yes bad uppers for their issues and they found great relief from cannabis there you go adhd users can benefit off this and i got a bit of a i got a bit of um adhd i bounce around a fair bit so i really like the indicas to calm me down and i can think clearly oh this is cool dr peter grinspoon he's a harvard um, medical professor over there and he teaches and he's put out a study on how to manage chronic pain using cannabis so it's so effective that Harvard medical professors have put out a full-on study about it now too. But Australian gut, anyway. So I'll just get back to chat. Uh, book, PTP, second thoughts. I'll just go through chat, let's go show, Jeff. Sunshine on top of the morning. Hola, g'day Lanayam, hola. This is a pretty detailed chart. So this is on the endocannabinoid system. And it shows the medical, what medical cannabis can offer its patients. So we all know about pain, traumatic brain injury, schizophrenia, epilepsy, yep, ALS, strokes, Huntington disease, Alzheimer's, brain tumors, and Parkinson's. And it happens from these TPRV receptors getting activated, CB1 and CB2 receptors getting activated. Uh, the CB1 and CB2 is just from THC and your TPRV1 and TPRT, I think they're from THC too. Um, so they get activated and turn on the following effects which turn on the cascade systems to initiate these processes to alleviate pain like your NOC receptors and stuff like that. So it's, there you go, that's the, uh, the names of the genes that it's in the receptors that it works with to give you these effects here's a distinctive evidence involved in the role of endocannabinoid signaling in parkinson's disease uh, so up here it's the top left you've got the cb1 antagonist uh, agonist so that means it's will trigger this receptor any cannabinoid any oxidant cannabinoids and cb1 and cb2 receptors um, over here is cb1 cb2 activating those receptors which have this follow-on effect so for the cannabinoids it comes down and it increases the superoxide dismutase and that's a bad antioxidant in our body there's like three of them there's a catalase um, catalase and peroxidase they're the ones we want to generate to get rid of all the antioxidants to cause all the free radicals and it reduces reactive oxygen species which is those ones i just explained to give you protection that's just one example of the pathways that it helps. And this is for Parkinson's. So it also helps people with nerve problems like me, epilepsy and stuff too. I shake a bit and stuff. Sometimes it's not very good. Uh, this is the um, fine tuning and metabolic pathways of the endocannabinoid system. So we'll start over here with cancer. So it's, uh, it reduces cell survival mitigation and invasiveness and it reduces cell progression. I'm going to skim on these for glucose and lipid metabolites it improves glucose uptake do. food and ingestion uh, improves your fat intake and food uptake so i oh, yep, down here low doses of delta 9 thc improve your appetite and yes they do but then it reckons underneath high doses have a hypophagia 
hypo it means under phage is eating so under eating it means that it's under eating so um i don't know maybe <laughs> i don't know i just i'm in a good healthy state so i just eat when my stomach tells me to immunity yeah well it helps with immunity inflammation that's um which there it is look nosy receptors it reduces them so once and receptory receptory health and diseases respiratory health and diseases permanentarily of airways and yeah there was a study done in uh oh, geez i think it's a california university when they tested about five thousand patients to do with their lungs and they found that actually improved their lung capacity from smoking cannabis um a lot um chronic users of smoking cannabis healing elixir three ingredients uh, this is pretty just put this in for people who haven't got their cannabis and they think um shit, how can i get the cannabis type results well there you go if you've run out oh this is a thing that's for my little thank you button underneath the five dollars is for thank you uh if you pay eighty dollars you'll get my private lectures there's about a dozen of them for 150 you get a 20 minute call and a novelty gift like a chart that i've made and i support the law so i don't want any problems three hundred dollars for a weekly call or like a company and there's people like getting set starting getting set up or they've got legal problems or if they want patients going to the doctors and want an educated opinion that's for that thank you for those who have done it canvas jobs oh yeah this is some jobs what's this week counter jobs entrepreneurship so all you people out there is consume and you've got a high chance in beating people with who come out of edge um, university with their degrees or with their courses sort of finished because they can't buy any type of experience and you've got shit loads of it so continue what doing it doing maybe get a bit more education and then you'll be fully ahead of the rest and this is entrepreneurship so if you don't have the ability to go out and work for other people and stuff like that or don't mingle with people like me too good you can do your own thing and this is one example so i like this one see so here yeah, look at that wow cops come in they'd be thinking wow we've got them good and proper haven't we no it's bloody legos mate <laughs> lego lies it's funny i like that i looked and i thought well, shit that structure's a bit different look at that there it's a bit stemmy and then i i didn't look down the bottom first pop soil lego yeah is another example so these clever people have gone to that place and got it it's quarter pounders with cheese wow literally not bad not bad hook me up <laughs> but yeah it's like artwork and stuff like that you can do just different ways to make money is that it well that's it for that bit looks like now we're on the trike games All right well i should go back and see the chat for a bit before i get on the trikes and that's it then Gear changer, here you go, gear changer. Hope you're well. No more questions. Uh, Trichomes. So, this is the last bit of the speech today. Then, it's, if you've got any questions. <clears throat> so, trichomes, uh, this is a unicellular up here. You can see the scale 20 micron. Uh, this one is the crystallis trichomes. And this one is the sessile, which is sessile is usually flat but it's got a little capitate underneath it this is the one we all want is the capitate stalked trichomes nicely developed there and this is an aged one so if you see this color that's aged that's um yeah definitely over picking and it's, um it's an example of your bulbous trichome and this is a complex bulbous because see how there's more than a few cells inside of it like microscopy shows imagery off by staining it's fun if you want to get into that i got one and i got some stains and stuff and it's really really rewarding i suppose it's you can just see what's going on you don't have to rely on other people to say you can see what you've got so it's good fun this is how to initiate it so if you want more trichomes this is how it actually the pathways for it so jasmonic acid activates the col1 gene or the j1 gene and then activates that activates the my b75 or the gl three gene which has trichome initiation formation and then from then it goes two pathways is it going to go into the fence or terpenoids which type of profile 
is it going to produce in its trichome? So does it want to, does it have bugs? And it's thinking, oh shit, I've got to put out a, um, a defense terpene that's going to ward off against these bugs and try and repel them. Or is it going to try and attract the type of bugs that it wants? Like what would happen in those? Would um, like an FLG22 gene, that's a flagella gene, which the plant picks up, that's the gene in the plant, which it picks up from bacterium that have the flagella, you know, the little tiny um, tail out the back of it. So if it picks up that, the plant has, activates the FLG22 gene, and then it would know which response to put out. And then defense against herbivores, and then it throws its response out. So it's giving, because out of each, like the genotype is equal to the, the, uh, the phenotype, is equal to the genotype plus the environment. So out of one mother plant, you can get multiple different terpene profiles by this pathway. Oh, these are some cool looking um, yeah, trikes. Yeah, it's act nice. See the colors? Look at that little bit clearish. That's nice. They used to say in the dispensaries, they wanted me to give it to them when it was only five, ten percent amber because the shelf life used to decrease faster. So there's no ambers there like we saw before in that example. Uh, some more charts at the end here and that's it. Yeah, really good. good on. Look, you can see the, the dermal cells there on the front. That's pretty nice. Whoa, look at this. The globerus. That's not very good. See how they're missing the unicellular and missing the stalked, missing the trichome on the top? That's either been knocked off or it hasn't formed properly. So is that a genetic thing or that's mishandling? I should all look like that. See this note? They've all got bulbs on. All right, let's skim a few. Oh, yeah, that's some rad photo work. This is just to highlight the cells in them, just to see what's going on, like we were saying before, actually, I'm sure there's some cellulose. Yeah, you can see the cells a bit better in these photos. Uh, this is some electron scanning microscope ones, show the difference between the frequency of them. So, what's it actually showing? I'll get rid of that little thing. Intrinsic fluorescence of trichomes. So if they're stalked or trichome, so this is just showing their intensity and how intense they are. Okay, very good. I can explain that. There's a few things to go through here. That I want to show Not this stuff. Oh, there's some good stuff. Oh, this one's all right. This just shows the parts of it. Uh, so that's your bract. That's your perigonal bract. You know your calyx. It's called a perigonal bract. And then your epidermal cells hypodermal cells in the middle, the basal cells at the base, and the striped cells at the beneath, and then your secretory cells, which secrete all of the compounds into this secretory mucus in here, and then the waxy cuticle on the outside, and yes, yeah, that's where it all stores it all in here, all of the uh, pathways that it has to initiate, it can store um, what's this one? Oh yeah, very good. Non-psychoactive. Yeah, it's um non-psychoactive. So it's the THC is only the psychoactive constituent. The CBD is it's a bit of a they call it an antagonist, meaning that it'll block the receptor of the THC receptor. So the CB1 and CB2 receptor, when you smoke CBD, it's supposed to block it. So it means you're not going to uptake as much THC. And it's also, you can use CBD as a tool to come down if you've got too much THC. If someone's induced something or they've had an edible possibly, remember check every two hours, you should check your dosage rate, not every hour. So if you've gone mistakenly done that, if you haven't got any charcoal, activated charcoal to have, you can always have your CBD. You should always responsibly use it. Remember two hours for edibles. Uh, this one. This is how to initiate trichomes and branching from hormones. So there are your few hormones. You know, you've got your nine 
hormones, your five basics, your psychokins, your brelins, ethylene, your abscisic acid, and your oxins. And then your other four are your salicylic acid, chismonic acid, brassinosteroids, and strigololactones. So, uh, how, so cytokines are initiated. If they picks up cytokines there, it's going to put out these genes, which initiates these ones, which is going to form trichome initiations. It'll happen slowly through these two, as you can see, your balance and cytokines, where germonic acid, salicylic, and ethylene, there's only a few pathways for it to go through for it actually to happen. Now, yeah, trichomes, they come from the word, from the Greek word, trichoma, that refers to hair growth. Uh, very good. The functions, it's protection. It's basically from animals, from stings, and trying to secrete bitter substances to protect them from animals and extreme weather conditions and other bugs and insects. That's its main functions of a trichome. The covering, uh, they got the waxy cuticle on the outside. Very good. Glandular. Glandular trikes referred to as the, the array. That's when you see them all. Glandular, the, an array of glandular. Okay, I'm not going <laughs> to. Sorry, I'm not going to argue with it. These types of trichomes are known to secrete substances, water, rectomesins, mucilage, terpenes, as we all know. There you go. This is some, not yet, some non glandular ones. That's your unicellular and is your capitate. And your stalk to capitate is your multicellular. Very good. <laughs> yes. Uh, terms used to describe trichomes uh, glabrous, lacking hairs or trichomes, pubescent, bearing hairs or trichomes of any type, downy, having an almost wool like covering, which is what you want. Uh, I've actually got a had a uh, downy covering from a leaf adaptation from a bug resistance that I put in, and it had that, and it put the, the trichome going upwards, across ways, and up ways again, and it created a layer so the all the dermal tissue, the all the stoma and stomata that were underneath it could be easily protected, and all of the bugs couldn't get under there and lay their eggs on the top of the on, of the underside of the leaf so that was pretty cool that's i'll put it in the video leaf, adapt leaf adaptations um that'll do for terminology what's this one well we're just going through the terminology so these sessiles what's this thing your blue your capates capitate sessile oh yep that's your crystal lip that's your unicellular and your bulbous very good so you can see they all the dermal tissue like that. That's very pretty. Yeah, that's an aged. Look at this. Uh, that's how it's from how it goes from a sessile to crystal to a capitate. It's formation and it cells. Uh, this is a cool thing to show the largest down the bottom here, the largest droplet. In cavity, so it's the, in other words, the size of the trichome head, the glandular trichome. If and it's gone in micron, usually they're around. If I was to put it under my microscope, they'd be probably 20 or 30 micron across. If I was to do a rule, and see, it doesn't say it, but I always put mine above it, so you know what scale they're referring to. Um, and here they've got up to 100. And I've got some that have gone up to about 200 micron. It's very rare, but you can see them under the naked eye quite easily, and it's 200. So if I was to extract that, that wouldn't I wouldn't extract it because that would be in my bag, which I wouldn't be keeping. It's above 200. <laughs> so it's interesting from that. What's this one? Stalk blend is right increase. Oh, this is a as they mature, they'll increase with the calyx production. So that's a graph just showing their lineage growth rate with the calyxes. Oh, and that's their growth rate too. This is cool. So see how this one started to age good. So this is good. Um, so see over here, it's nearly clear. You can see through it. This is cloudy or milky. And down here is amber. So this is fully done in amber. And the, CB, the THC is probably gone. And 
aged into what was it going? THC ages into CBN. So that would have aged into CBN. So it would have given you a more of a sleepier high. So that's what happens with that. And look at this one shriveled up. So it's desiccated. So that's actually a good image of them all. And that's the cells in the dental tissue. Oh, look, there's a unicellular one too. Cool. Why are we? Oh, yeah, that's just a better, different photo. Very aged. Very, it's electron scanning microscope. You can see how detailed it is. So bloody detailed. Wow. That uh, stickiness. <laughs> right on, is that it? That's it. Stop sharing. Very good. All right, get back to questions. What? Really? Oh. All right, I'll get some. That's not the one. All right, I'll put in a just a link if anybody wants to quickly come up. Otherwise, I'm going to bail pretty soon. YouTube. That's pretty strange. There's that thing. I'm going to go up. I'll go through and see who was. Um, if there's any questions that I mixed, missed. So, and oh, Skizbits. There you go, Skizbits. Just popped in to send some love. Won't be star sticking around, but just know you are all bloody legends. Good on you, Skizbits. Gear change, Jeff. What about if you've been busted for growing? Can you get a job in this industry? Says Jeff. Uh, not oh, good question, mate. You they do license checks. So if you want to be a grower at any facility, they've got to do license checks and screen you. So same for trimmers and stuff, too. So at the moment, your chances are pretty slim. You've got to be with a dispensary, or actually, I probably even Australia, they're not even allowed for them, too. So you'd have to get with a private company. So your chances are pretty slim because um, it's pretty fucking shit, to be honest. And I don't mean to swear, but I'm directing this at the bloody government because I've got a future background too. And it makes it very, very hard to get a start. And they need people like us who have mega experience so we can help. So, um, yeah, it's not good. It's If it's for, pretty, if it's for commercial or stuff like that, it's going to be pretty difficult. Uh, you'll have to go for private equities or look at this entrepreneurship stuff that I'm talking about lots and try an entrepreneur because you can be your own boss, mate, and you can start stuff up and then you can collaborate with other companies and that's the way I'm going about it. It's um, pretty bloody hard, mate. Good question, though, Jeff. Cool hand, Luke. G'day, mate. How are we all, he says. Mick. Today being 12 months since I have missed the high. Uh, so bombs a lot. Keep interesting content, brother. Good on you. Thanks for the props. So bombs a lot. Cool hand. I'm just reading down here. Uh, gear changes. Smash. So it's the first element present in frass. Not sure what you're talking about. Sunshine. Sorry. Buckets. Gear change. Uh, got a bit of sun stroke yesterday. Had an old head on the bucket that's no good gear changer hey jesus um main green here you go main green oh monty g'day monty here you go main green cheers what's a great show can you extract trichomes directly from the plant with the siphon uh no it's got to be a good question actually i can put these questions up can't i i'm going to go up and put that question in where is it? Oh. Can't. Why can't I do that? It's showing I'm not going questions. Oh, gee whiz. Oh. Um, I can't highlight the question, sorry. Oh, look. I'll have to... Sorry. Not sure how to highlight that one. Um, the... Question was Aussie Grow Show says, can you extract trichomes directly from the plant with a siphon? Well, you need to loosen them from the plant first. So we do extract them if you run your hands through them, they'll come off in oil form. 
um, and they'll stick to each other because it's an oil gland and oil sticks to each other. So it's for it to be coming off loosely like you want, like a siphon, if for instance, it's got to be below three degrees Celsius and then it's it freezes and then it comes very brittle, the stalk capitate, and then the, actually the, the glandular head will rupture and it'll come off really, really easily. And so it's a temperature thing that far as I know, that way works. Uh, but no, not, it's not as easy as what you were hoping, I suppose, for. Sorry. Uh, next question. Why can't I blim and, Oh, look, he's, someone's, be, someone's backstage. Hook's backstage. Oh, how do I add to stream? There you go. I'll talk, I'll get you in. How you going, mate? I'll get to you in a sec. I'm just going to go down this list just to clear everybody up. Uh, Huda, what do you know about hemp batteries? I don't know much about them, mate, but they sound rad. Anything to do with hemp, it's such a, it's a renewable thing. So it's, it's biofuel. Um, I don't know about batteries, a battery source. It's an energy source through biofuels. You can make many different types of things and biodiesel and there's heaps of stuff like that. But I'm not quite sure about a battery. Sorry, mate. Uh, sunshine vacuum cleaner with micron bag and dry ice. Oh, there you go, dry ice. Oh yeah, but it's on a live plant. I think he was talking about, but but that's a good way to chill it. Uh, cool and Luke sunshine. Do autos herm self pollinate? Yes, autos are the same characteristics as any cannabis plant. If it's a very heterozygotic, it's going to have the tendencies to sway very fast and have herm tendencies. If Huda, if you've been caught before, you can't work as a medical cannabis grower. But at the moment, that's what it says in Australia because they do license checks. Because I've had a few interviews with some um, LPs, and that's what the law says. And when I've gone to look at doing my own things, it says we have they have to have license checks for all your people who work for you to work at your facility. So that's at the current standings. Sorry, mate. I've been looking to go overseas to do stuff over there because I want to continue doing my cannabis science work. I'm getting some good collaborations with overseas universities and other scientists, and it's been really, really rad. And I've been getting some good praise from the people in, in the know too, which really boosts my uh, just boosts my confidence, I suppose, because it's just hard, you know, going so many negative cutbacks all the time with our government and governments across many regions throughout the world. It's all too many setbacks. Take care, bro. Uh, I got a cruise. I just thought I'd jump in to say g'day and um, uh, to ask that question about the extraction of trichomes. Uh, yeah. So I, I'll say g'day and, and goodbye. Uh, yeah, I thought that you'd have to uh, lower the temperature, obviously wait for a cooler or colder night to be able to uh, remove them from the uh, um, or stomata, is it? Pistol. But um, cheers, uh, Aussie. Bong on, mate. Have a good day. Oh, that no worries. That's cool. Um, it's I won't see you today because I've got to study yeah. of as well. Yeah, mate. Yeah. No worries, other... Chair. No worries. I, I just thought uh, I'd get in. My battery's dead and I've got to prepare and um, and all of that, you know. So uh, I'll get into it. I've got this awesome uh, mutation I want you to look at in a few days. Uh, it's, it's fun. It, I don't know if it's an ABC. I didn't think I, I – but it's grown out really different, man. Like, I don't know. I won't get into it now because my battery's almost dead, but – and I'll keep you keep you going, but I did, I just wanted to cut you off to say take care. I didn't want to run off without saying goodbye. Bong on everyone. Good on the, you. Uh, the like button. The young CC, old CC. I don't know. I think we might be the same age. I don't know. Yeah, around around twenty five. <laughs> uh, twenty five years old each. Young in the mind. All right. Looks like he's gone. I think, but he's still showing on the screen. It's a bit strange. All right. Well, yeah, he does a show too. Aussie Grow Shows. He's got a show he does quite regularly. I do mine once a week. He does it very regularly. Daily, nearly, I think. Is, why is he still there? Well, he said, I think he's going to go. I'll remove him from the... There we go, back to the screen. All right, back to the few questions because that's it, guys. Uh, Wombat Organics, here you go, Wombats. 
records need to be 100% as a grower right now. Wombat hand hash collectins do it in the morning. Oh <laughs> yeah, Mick S. If I was med company, I'll be waiting at a jail exit every time experienced growers get released. That's right. Well, that's what they found from um, did you like the first LP in Australia that got licensed? They've gone bust. There's another LP which I can't name. They've gone under and they're looking for other people to help because they didn't get any Australian help. They thought they'd get some overseas help and they just ruined the company. Um, so, yeah, they haven't get the people who, like myself, who have a, a hell of a lot of experience background with a little bit of educational background to be a good um, who can know how to do it and done it many times. But anyway, that's, that's just business. That's why we entrepreneur and do our own things. So yes, Mick S, I agree with you. I'll send a link. Oh yeah, all right, Hooter. That's cool. I'll show it another show and we'll talk about it because that's that's a good topic, mate. Cool hand, uh, cool hand, Luke. I wonder how centrifugal extracts would go. Uh, they go all right. Actually, there's another thing I had to talk about today too. Speaking of that, that was a topic where it was brought up with um, percolation to. There's a test done. I'll, I'll talk about it in another show, but there's an example of they did a test for home people to do it and they found out the highest extraction ratio and it was percolation was the answer. Uh, Jeff, I thought it might be evidence that I've been in the game for so long that I've never given up. Yeah, Jeff, I agree, mate. It's that's how it women should be. It's we've had experience. These people they don't have no idea. It's um that's just the laws. That's why we must entrepreneur. If we can entrepreneur, we can hire whoever we want and we don't and we can you know to get a license to distribute or to grow is different, but you can be involved in the industry quite well without um, with having a background like you're talking of. Yes, a lot of people need experienced people, and you can't buy experience. And people realise that. I was talking to a. I don't want to talk about my stuff. How can you who? Uh, how can you get into analysing trichomes? Do you know what equipment you need? Great question, mate. Yes, I do. You need a handheld microscope between 50 and 80x. Uh, I'm not going to show mine. I've got one that I've used since 2005. Um, and I found out, so I can you can look right in and you can see inside the trichome, you can see its colour, you can see what's on the surface of the dermal tissue, and I found out that these, yeah, I can say that, I found these people were putting, they were soaking this their product in this solution, and it gives it a sticky, uh, a sticky, sugary type of a outcome. You can't see it under the naked eye, but under the microscope, it looks like baking powder that someone's put it all across the bench. Well, I pulled out this in, this was in a, uh, it wasn't a small amount. And it's, uh, so yeah, your microscopes really, ha they're really handy to find out stuff like that. That's the, I've been looking at it since, since 2005 and found out many things. And you can see what style, what style it's at. You know, all those different types of formations of trichomes. You can see where you're at and what stage your plant is at because each cultivar finishes differently and their trichomes get riper faster on leaves than they do on calyxes so if you're going to look under the microscope you want to make sure you grade them on the calyxes or the perigonal bracts good question thank you to hooter 420 wombats strain hunters hook Okay, cool. And Luke, cheers. Looks to uh, picture me trolling. Oh, I picture me trolling. Is red pistols normal at four weeks? Yes, it is because the plant's going through its stage and that's its first growth stage. So it's entering now into its secondary growth stage when you want a lot, a lot more chemicals uh, and chemicals. You want to give the plant a lot more of its nutrient requirements and it's going to really take off there. The bulking, bulking phase is starting to happen from week four to week sort of. Eight, if it's a normal indica cultivar, which I usually like, because <laughs> your sativas they go they have a lot longer. 
and your hybrids who knows you could have whatever ratio you have so it's yeah and if you don't have an elf gene finishing gene installation like i do your plants um will go forever or can go not actually no, that's that's a fib they don't go forever you have to extend them to go forever because the plant has a biological life form life so it ends like a leaf's 45 days odd for instance and to do it you've got to give it hormones to extend its life i did that in a video uh back to this so yes is red the red pistols are normal mate it's the first dying stage of that perigonal bract or calyx and then it's going to separate right next to it did you know actually if you cut them in half when they're white and they're still alive that's actually kills them and they will not form properly but what they do they form sideways instead of upwards so that's how you get your fat chunkies i did a video on that as well thanks for the question picture me trolling cheers collection nectar gods yes monty overgrow the government Woohoo! i shake no you gotta i respect the law but yes the law has to really change <laughs> change so much benefit to benefit the bloom and health people cool hand luke business people seem to be clueless sometimes yes mate they seem to be only focused on money where health and the environment is a major factor these days and it's being forgotten about that's why everything's changing to move forward successfully we've got to do it sustainably one bad organic sun for three days and above 28 c is been nice seedling starting weather hell yeah above 28 c wow very nice seedling starting weather very good wombat aussie auto's best scope is one that goes in your phone oh yeah yep yeah, if they've got rad ones for your scope now on your phone actually my brother he's got a phone with a, a it's got 120 megapixels or something massively large and he could zoom in and look at a bee from a tree from a distance so that's going to be like that's what i was your nose is talking about so yeah i reckon they've got real good so look at a, probably a microscope app for a phone if you've got a high megapixel because that means you can zoom in shitloads monty cool hand luke awesome to see you haven't seen you in a while Puff on everyone says Aussie autos. Thanks so much. Hope you have an awesome day, Aussie CC. Thanks, Lynn AM. You too. Monty, how you been? Cool and Luke. Will always love this community. Good on you, Cool and Luke. Yes, it's an interesting community. We all have to stick together. And we all smoke and we're all interested in cannabis. So big deal because one does it differently, one doesn't flush, one does it this way. Who cares? We're all the same. One doesn't know terminology. One's couldn't care what he smokes as long as it's bloody just weed one smokes trim it doesn't matter i still respect you all and want to yeah praise people like that because we're all trying and we're all trying to help our health because that's what this comes even if you don't realize that it's helping your health that's why we do this it's because it calms us down it mellows us it helps us sleep relax pain tremors all sorts of things so it's you know so much I just want to thank everybody in the community for being trying to be nice trying to hate other cannabis users especially there's too much of that rot going on we're all the same try and have a bit of leeway and tolerance respect your elders you know i don't know just it's just i don't hate i've done this for many years and i've did it for heaps of years in in the states first and then i've been in australia for a year or and the, even the community over there they everybody starts to divide once they know each other and i don't like this person because of this reason well who cares we're all into cannabis try and you know they're not shooting they're not doing bad drugs or any bad things like that so that's my attitude anyway so i hope people can adopt that attitude so we can all share our experiments and knowledge and stuff together and move forward very healthily together and support each other yeah that'll do nothing more crapping on Back to chat so I can say goodbye. Uh, thanks. I read that. Thanks, Lene. I have the apps. Ozzy Auto says he's got apps, but I meant microscope you buy and plug into your phone. Oh. Yeah, a microscope you buy and plug into your phone. Phone acts as a screen. Okay. 
Cool. Yeah, there's a lot of technology out there that really, really help. I have my microscope plugs into my USB port, so it goes into a program on my computer. Um, there's heaps of different ways to get your the with the microscopes. They they're funny because I've I've owned quite a few of them. It's come and aren't good, but it's a good start, and it's to get you involved and interested. And then it's only a few hundred bucks extra to get yourself a a stereo microscope or a compound microscope. I haven't got a stereo microscope, unfortunately. I'd love one. Can't wait to get one because that'll be, yeah. But anyway, so yeah, microscopes really help just with analyzing. They take out the guesswork and stuff like that. Why isn't, I'd love to know why my blooming private chat. Boy, oh. Um, back to chat. Sorry, the phone. I should put up a different screen. Oh, that's what we're doing today. Uh, Brojo, how you going, Brojo? Hi, the beauty of the world is everyone's differences. Yes, Mick. Critter, how you going, Critter? Thanks for the support too, Critter. Appreciated, mate. I'm late. How are you? Oh, you just missed a bit of stuff about trichomes, how to identify it, what they're about, I suppose, and good kenner health on your endocannabinoid system, on how beneficial cannabinoids and terpenes are on our genetic makeup which Harvard Medical um, describe our endocannabinoid system in our body as the sixth body sense, sixth body system, like you've got your musculoskeletal, your nerve system, those types. They suggest it's the sixth. That's how effective it is. Yeah, Kruda, yep. Ozzy Autos, hey, imagine if we were all the same. Uh, uh, stop that. <laughs> Robots, hello, I'm Beepo the robot. As long as we're all the same as might be. Cool and Luke, what's up? G'day, g'day. We'll rewatch after work, Critter. All right, thanks everybody. Oh, well, it's 20 people. Holy mackerel. All right, one question. I was just about to end it, Hooter. Geez, you got me. Is every pollen grain from a male different? As in, will every pollen grain from the same pollen sac create the same plant? Or will there be different? Phenos. Ah, good question. So who to 420 is asking if you pollen if you've got pollen grains, will they be different? Well, yes. When they go through recombination, their pairing of the genetics, that's the, called recombination, they can pair up differently. So if they have a little bit of less more stress at that instant, or if one of their genes isn't firing at that instant, that will make the recombination process different so you'll end up with your different cultivar at the end um that's the best way to explain it yeah actually this is cool oh, i don't want to talk about my stuff again about identifying pollen and the viability of pollen and i've already talked about the storage of pollen i was oh, this company in switzerland hit me up and it's about actually i'm not going to talk about my stuff it's it's beneficial to study though it's really really good I can we'll be able to show you some cool slides on pollen down the track, put it that way, and about its viability and the stages of its growth stages and when to harvest and storage, how to, I'll be able to test all that stuff finally. So now I've just been guessing and I can only test viability on cultivars in hopes that it's when it takes is when it's viable. Well, there's a machine out now that you get that I'll be getting soon that you can test the viability yourself. So for serious breeders, you really, this is a must. It's so cool. So there won't be any guesswork. So for me doing my manual pollinations with my, I can, oh, this stuff isn't even viable anymore. Or oh, look, it dried out too much. It's desiccated. Um, so that's, yeah, something that'll happen soon. So good question, Huda. Thank you. And thanks for your support, mate. Uh, Aussie Autos, why do F1, F2, so on and so on? Why do F1s, F2, the Fs? It, F stands for friarial. It's a Latin word for genera uh, no, it's generation, but that's what it stands for, and it's meaning generation. So the first generation or the second generation, why does it go on? Uh, well, the gene's got 35,000 odd genes, the cannabis plant, so each one of them can be turned on and turned off differently. In the male, it tends to harbour all of the bad genetics in the male chromosomes, and females, it tends to recessive those traits. So with the recombination of those, you can get really 
good or bad outcomes too. Same when you breed with humans is a good example. If you haven't got good starters, you won't get good outcomes without putting people down. Sorry, it's a good way this is to do with plants. Uh, Jeff says, when the government respects us, I'll respect their law. <laughs> if it's a, yeah. yep. Yes, they've got a lot to change the government and especially the Australian government. Holy hell. Jeez, they've got so much to learn, mate. For instance, ACT, you can legally have your two or four plants, but you can't get seeds anywhere. Right. Okay. So that's just one example. So the, the Australian government, mate, they've got <laughs> so far to go. And it really sucks for us because we're the person's trying to be on the receiving end, you know, and get good health out of it. And there's all these studies that have proved it. It's been legalised, getting legalised all over the world in every country. But, well, just do your best. The best thing I can only suggest is don't sell it and stuff and then you won't get any heat. But it's used as a medicine, so life to only condone legal activities on this show. Cool, and Luke, the problem is the uh, Napoleonic laws known as legislation took over the constant. <laughs> cool, and Luke. Yeah, the Napoleon-type laws from back in the day. Um, yeah, we need more alcohol. How can we make more money off this cannabis stuff first? Stuff society. Oh, don't say that. No, you're not recording, are you? That's right, mate. That's how it is. It's um, the rich get richer, poor get poorer. And the medicinal people can't even grow. Like, look in the States and in Canada how you can uh, have, you can grow for a few people. So you can have six lights, 100 plants, and grow for, say, six people. Be a caregiver. Brilliant. How cool. Because people are passionate about that. No, Australia wants to import it. Like 18% of Colombia's exports comes into Australia for medical cannabis. No, we want to import it. Good on you. Yeah. And they want to go on about to the greenhouse gas emissions for Australia. They want to drop more. Well, why not green up the friggin' nation? No, no. We want to make money from it first. And because they've got 300% tax on it, we're putting LPs into uh, liquidation. Oh, well, sorry. They've got to do business better. Dickhead governance. Sorry. All right. Back to it. I'm saying too negative stuff. Cool. Lewis C.K. takes responsibility for... What? Hey, mate, this is. I um. I don't like your, your the end of your name there, friend. It's um. Yeah, someone deleted it. Yeah, mate, this is um. I'm a very tolerable person, and I don't even use. I got a magpie that had black feet. I call her shiny feet because I don't agree with that word. Because every human or everything isn't shouldn't be distinguished by a color this that's rot i don't like how you i know you're from usa because usa folk are the only people that really use that stuff and they want to try and stop using it so it's really strange i feel sorry for them because they're in a court in a circle but um personally i don't agree with that and i won't stand for it sorry about that yeah say normal change your name mate and say normal stuff and um i'll be very willing to help you Thanks for the people who helped out in chat too. Uh, Jeff, the Australian government has no has a deer with no eyes. No idea. Gosh, it's like as if he's in the government, you know, he knows them. Sunshine, thank you. Aussie autos don't want. That's right. That's right. Yep, Aussie autos. We're all the same, mate. This is how Australia is. We don't stand for that shit. It's no, it's not racist. We're all the same. Just <laughs> treat each other the same <laughs> i actually trapped on about that ages ago so yes it's equality gender equality human equality it's all the same we don't look up or down to everybody we just talk sideways it's how it should be praise you know jesus everyone's doing it so hard we've all got our own problems we all cry for various reasons you know so everyone's doing it just as tough as the next person we've just got a degree of variability Varies. Sigonias. 
All right, that's it for, I think we're going to wrap up. Not a very nice way to end, but it was a good good way to end because we're going to end and we're going to be nice to somebody this week. Yes. Somebody we haven't normally been nice to. Just be nice to them. Probably a relative. Your relatives really, they'll stand by with you forever. So it's, you know, try and bite, you know, bite your tongue sometimes and just help them out. I should take heed on my um, stuff too because I'm a bit of a sucker like that. But oh, all right. So thank you, Aussie Autos. Good on you. Yep. Thanks everybody for rocking up. Here I am, Sunshine. Nothing better than Troll. Oh well. They're going to be everywhere. They're, we just got to take the good with the bad and try and praise the good. That's what I do and block the bad, like Healthy Gilmore. Remember, so it goes round and round, circles all the feel the good energy, feel the good and block the bad. <laughs> uh, White Ashes, how you going, mate? I guess I'm sus on the 100 word profile names. Yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah, happy to be here. Good on you. Later, bro. See you, main green grower. I'm good, Luke. Hope you're well, too. I didn't ignore you earlier. It was in the shower. Oh, I was talking to Luke. Okay. Cool and Luke. Strange. Um, this username was acknowledged as your right to have. And you, well, mate, if your username's acknowledged. Oh, yeah, he's changed it. Oh, no, he hasn't. He's made. Listen, if you keep using that word in the name, I'm going to block you. I don't care if it's changed. This is a show about cannabis and being nice to people and about good health, mate. It's pretty simple. Lewis, see if you use that. I'm going to change your name again. If you change it to something with something bad in the title, you're getting blocked forever. Sorry about that. It's not stand for. It's simple. You know, we're here to create good energy. There's so much bad negative energy around. You don't portray it. You try and change that so it changes everybody in society and your well-being. From being negative too long, you're going to grow cancers, all these antioxidants and stuff. It's um not the way to be. I'll see it once more time. Lewis, if it's there again, you're gone. That's the last warning. I don't like doing this shit either. Back to good, good spirits. Cool and Luke, all good. Yes, we're all in this shit together. Thanks, Jeff. Feeling great, CC. Good on your white ashes. Blocking bro, says Aussie Autos. I will. Oh, there he says it again. All right. What? You're in the USA. Where, how do we go? Up here? Scroll down. It's going to be fun. There he is. Wait, I'll just press this button here. I'll report. You report them first because um, they promote terrorism, they hate harassment or bullying, unwanted. It's... It's bullying. It promotes terror. Hate speech, there it is. Yep, because I don't stand for that shit. And now I'm going to block you. Uh, remove, not block for good. Sweet. Hopefully now it won't. It's not right, mate. It's just not right. not right at all all right so i've gone and done that it's hidden it says hidden you're still trying hey, listen mate you're lewis you're in the usa too promote good stuff help out people why are you trying to put your bad energy across for other people all you do is create bad energy really try harder you wonder why people pick on you mate all right, that's enough about him. Good on you, CC. Thanks, Aussie Autos. Monty says, what the was that about using? It's it's just, it's persons from other communities, mate. They're trying to come into our community and portray bad energy. And that's all it's about. There's heaps of those out there. Uh, it's just not tolerated by me at all. And by a lot of the chat people by the sound of it too. Yes ridiculous to be honest <laughs> needs to smoke you needs to get better supply that's the person that doesn't that would be a typical alcohol user and doesn't consume cannabis because if they use consume cannabis they'd be more tolerant and a bit more friendly and a bit more open-minded so lewis go out and see your doctor get onto some medical cannabis and get off the other things that you're on try and create a bit of good energy mate all right that's it Mike Benito, LOL. Yeah, I know. It is funny, isn't it? 
<laughs> going on with his right. Oh, oh well. Well, thanks for the 30 people that uh, voted. I'll read out the results. So it says, could your medical cannabis have been better? 67% of people say yes. So isn't that interesting? 67% of people say the medical cannabis could be better. And then there was a 20% of people said, yes, I need more, so legalize it. And then 13% were happy with it, happy. So 13% only. So there's a lot of improvements, in other words, that's to be done. So thank you, everybody, for contributing in, in that poll. That was good fun. Any community, I've got a community section on my YouTube where you can go and leave comments in there or post things that you might want to suggest things for the shows if you're struggling or if there's areas of topics. Uh, I appreciate everybody for helping and supporting the membership people that are doing it. Thank you very much. It's appreciated too. And all you people in chat, it's very nice. I'll read these ending comments. Thanks for your knowledge, Huda. Good on you, mate. Monty Lewis, start vibrating at... Uh, yeah, Aussie Autos, well said. Thank you, Aussie Autos. Cool hand. I often wonder if these kind of people have mental illnesses. They do. They do, Cool hand, Luke. Um, that's why cannabis really helps. And you've seen from the endocannabinoid system how much it will really benefit to them. That's why my suggestion was to Lewis for him to go see his doctor and get off the other things and get onto some good medical cannabis that can really help. And also another thing to back up the poor people in the States is they don't have a good um, psycho, um, psychological or mental plans. So they've got to pay for it. So it's, I feel you know, a bit sorry from there. They need more medic, better medical cannabis. Totally Monty, says Aussie Autos. Mike ben, 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 Benedetto, how you going? Even after making it legal, it's going to take 10 years before you can actually see real cannabis. Not if I've got anything to do with it, mate. Once it becomes legal, shit, I'll be putting my face up here. I'll be having a seed uh, giveaway each week and the good genetics will be going out. Yeah, so that's my contribution. <laughs> Hilltop family new. Good on you, Hilltop family. Thanks for being here. Cheers, one love. Aussie or those. That's, that's you, Gus. Monty, mental health is absent in the US. Yes, it's unfortunate for them. Sunshine, if you can spare... Five bucks, go to CC's membership, bros. Oh, thanks, Sunshine. Remember to, it, it's a, you have to, it goes through PayPal, so you have to um, unsubscribe for it if you want it, if you don't want it to continue, because it will just automatically continue. I just don't want to rip anybody off. Mate, all top hoods. Mike, when it becomes legal, the first thing you will see, see how many cops are involved in it. Ah, interesting. Well, I can tell you a story already about that. Oh, uh, can I? uh i'll tell you about i'll tell you about uh, what can i tell you about that one no i'll speak legal what's a legal cop one with the sounds like i'll fucking anyway uh what happened i'm in the legal spot in the australia that's where i am that's how i can conduct my research um and be my cannabis scientist and do all these different collaborations because I can legally do it. And the police were close a, what can I say? I was speaking to some police out front uh, a few months ago or however long it goes ago. And they were saying we got on the topic of cannabis and one of them said, um, I should start growing it. And I thought, interesting, I, you know, interesting, good on you. And then he says, I said, oh, well, I, I, you know, do this medicinally, medicinal cannabis. And he says, yeah. And his comeback was he does recreational cannabis. This is a police officer in uniform who told me that. I nearly hit the floor. <laughs> it was awesome. And then his partner goes, he's so happy because they don't have to bust all these people for cannabis anymore. And ah, oh, I couldn't believe I thought I was in Canada, but I was in bloody Australia. So it's coming, mate. And the police do think the same. They're just there to enforce the laws. Um, there's nothing much, you know, they can really, they're not the persons to change it. They're not the politicians. Um, so anyway, that's an interesting story. Thanks for that comment. Mike ben, Mike ben Dendoto. Monty, get my membership. Mate, people who are poor, I know Monty, you're poor too. Please don't. Like I only support people, if you, if you have spare cash, 
do it. If you're struggling, please don't. I'd rather rather you keep your six or ten bucks or whatever it is per month. Um, so yeah, that's only if it's spare, mate. Please, it's only if it's spare. I don't want. I appreciate everybody who trying. You know, weed nerds crew, that sort of stuff. You do try there, so I do appreciate that sort of stuff. Hilltop family, Monty, he one love. Mike, you got to buy a new car. Oh, Monty. Uh, it's monthly membership. How long, CC? Nice, five months per month. Okay, because five bucks a month is easy enough. Okay. Mike, when you got to buy a new car, the dealer will screw you. Yep. Didn't try to sell. Uh, one month of easy AF to do on a subscription soon, CC. We'll have to do member show only. Oh. Uh, Member show only. I don't care. You can do member show only if you want. I mean, me. Yeah, well, I can. If you want, I don't mind. It's no one's requested anything or stuff like that, so I don't know really what people want. So if people request stuff. Yeah, sure. To be honest, as long as it's legal. And this is sunshine five ninety nine. I think so. Buck fifty per episode. Uh, <laughs> nice sunshine, Mike. Good luck. Thanks, Mike, Monty, and Monty CC. I can spare. Oh, only only truthfully remember YouTube take a percent uh, and stuff too so I really pres I like people can um, their feedback and comments is more appreciated than money I suppose because it's hard to know what, where I'm going and what things are headed and what people want because I'm just talking here and I don't even know what people want so it's yeah shit this has been going for ages this went this has gone for like an extra Thanks everybody for um, turning up. I appreciate it. I was only wanting this to be like a half an hour show, and I even got rid of topics out of this to try and make it less. Oh, it's amazing. Good health and cannabis, it really links together, doesn't it? Just what it proves. We could just talk about this for ages and ages. Um, we could probably have people up and all sorts, and we could go on for hours because it's so true. The various different pathways and things, how it can help and alleviate the different entourage effects through different profiles from terpenes linked up with the cannabinoids to unlock different things it is so excellent this is a great topic and um i'm so passionate about it, as you can see so thanks everybody again for uh, look at that he's tried in a different um a different name or something about bruce lee if you you've, mate you've used the same word again though you've used that the hate word so you're getting reported and um, it's not very nice. Try harder. I know you can. And then you'll be welcomed into this community. So thank you for trying. Try a bit harder, though. Mate, you're dropping knowledge that is helping everybody. It's one of the best shows of cannabis. Oh, good on you, Monty. Thank you. Yes, well, I've been told from a few people. Um, yes, thanks. Good on you, Monty. Appreciate nice words. Thanks, everybody, for turning up. There's still 18 people here. It's amazing. <laughs> Though going through listening to me um, carry on about that poor person who needs some help, needs some better cannabis, medical cannabis for sure. Change his um, cultivars if you're on it at the moment. Friend in the States who's not going the best. Thank you everybody for turning up and all your questions and in chat. Even the bad chat, I still appreciate it because we're here to help. So if we can help you and become better persons too, wow hasn't we've done our jobs so good on you everybody you can set a timer to allow them to chat when you subscribe you can set a timer oh yeah okay yeah i saw that timer thing though i didn't want i thought that's a bit mean because it makes it sort of forces people that they've if they're not a subscriber that they didn't want to leave a comment so that's why i didn't turn that on me i don't want to force people to be subscribed at all to be honest i nearly want to do the opposite because it's giving people other money. I just like helping. Anyway, Monty420, I understand. Oh, yeah. Cheers, Aussie EC says, Aussie, all those allows trolls in. <laughs> I should, I've got to monetize some more people too. Uh, add moderator. Uh, add moderator. Yep. I just got to do that a bit more. So remind me next week. Thanks, everybody. Um, they'll be doing I'll be putting up a few videos next week and they're to do with my study session so you probably won't be interested I'll tell you already but it's only to do with my four subjects I've got my post harvest operations of grain and um, produce cereal 
um, soil science and fertility course. I've got entrepreneurship and I've got environmental biotechnology. So those four study sessions are going to be put up and it's just me going through my revision notes and my a lot of questions on it, uh, multiple choice just to help me revise. So that's what I'll be doing, posting. So yeah, heads up. And next week's show is, oh, I'll tell you, excuse me. Next week's show is on mulching. A very detailed show on mulching, microbes, flushing, and healthy soil. Okay, so it looks like mulching is going to be a big one because I'm going through lecture 48, it says, and microbes. So that's next week's. So hope to see everybody in next week, as well as you too, Stoney. <laughs> Stoney's got a show. Check him out. He tries very hard daily, like a lot of other people. Uh, we Try hard, everybody. Say hi to your friend you haven't said a while to go and help him out. Cheers, everybody. So happy growing, happy breeding, and good health to you. Good night and goodbye.